Hi, Chase Craig here with Chase Craig Real Estate Group, and today I want to take a little bit of your time and talk to you about something I call waiting for equity. Um, I'll give you an example of someone that's waiting for equity and why I think it can be a mistake if you don't understand your situation to the fullest. Um, this particular client of mine has a home that's worth $100,000 in today's market. Um, they really want to get 125 out of it for whatever reason. Maybe they put that amount down or uh, it used to be worth 125 It doesn't matter. That's what they want to get. But they do have the ability to sell today. They just don't feel comfortable doing it because they feel like they're losing money. Um, now, that same seller also wants to purchase a home down the street that's a little bit bigger and has some more amenities, but it's worth $200,000 in today's market. Here's where I think they make the mistake if they don't understand their situation to the fullest. Um, they wait to get $125,000 for their home. Two, three, four, five years down the road, whatever it takes, they're going to get one twenty-five. dollars Well, one thing that I don't think a lot of people realize is that that home down the street that you really love that's currently worth $200,000, well, guess what? In two, three, four, five years, when your home's appreciated 25%, that home down the street is likely appreciated 25% as well. Now it's worth $250,000. So did you really benefit by waiting for the equity in your home? You know, I don't know in your situation, it could be different, I have no idea, but I strongly, strongly urge you to understand the entire situation before making a decision. Don't just hear that your home's not worth what you think it is and stop the conversation there because I think that can be a huge mistake. And of course, this doesn't even factor in interest rates three, four, five years from now. If you need to borrow money to finance for that, uh, who knows what they'll be. So I, I strongly urge you to discuss this with your lender, discuss this with your real estate professional, and uh, hopefully you'll make an informed decision that, that works best for you. Thanks for your time today.